Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. A short time ago, I had a request to go into more detail for my acrylic welding process. I have equipment I use and, if possible, to give a close-up of the weld itself. So I'm going to try and do that here for you today uh, because a lot of the other projects I have on the go aren't quite ready yet. And this is uh, relatively straightforward and hopefully I can give those details that they wanted. So acrylic welding is a chemical weld. What happens is you put a solvent between the two parts of the joint. Uh, the solvent will uh, dissolve the acrylic on both sides and then evaporates. And then after it evaporates, the acrylic solidifies again and that forms the weld. Uh, the chemical I use is methylene chloride because, well, I'll go into all the properties for it as we go along. You can uh, get, uh, I think, Weldon, which is also another uh, name brand that you can get for uh, the same process. I don't care for Weldon. It, uh, it reeks. I mean, this stuff smell, smells bad enough, but uh, Weldon has really strong and I just don't care for it. And the other reason why I don't like it is uh, they add something into it to slow down the evaporation process. So what happens is it just takes longer for the joint to set up. As you see this happening here, it is very quick, uh, which means, you, of course, you have to have everything where you want it before you apply the methylene chloride. But uh, at least it uh, doesn't take very long to actually go through and do a bunch of welds. So I use a syringe because, uh, well, if you go to a plastic shop and get methylene chloride, uh, they'll supply you with a little uh, bottle with a metal tube and you squeeze the bottle and it's the same process but squeezing the bottle is very inaccurate and if you get uh, any more than you need in the joint uh, it just puddles and ends up disfiguring the acrylic because it will dissolve anything it touches it drops whatever and it is like I said it's not precise at all so this is uh going to be a close-up of the weld. I'm going to give you a better one here uh, a little further on in the video, but this is basically what you need to do. You just take the two pieces you want to weld. Uh, this is a filter, by the way, for a project I'm putting together, and it is very straightforward. You just hold it where you want to. You can tilt it a little bit back if you like, but uh, it wicks really well, uh, so it's not really that necessary. But like I said, you got to keep make sure you have it exactly where you want it before you apply. You do have literally you know, a few seconds to move things around afterwards, but uh, it will uh, cause bubbles in the joint and uh, then you end up with, well, an unsightly joint. And that's as quick as that is. You can still break that open and re-weld it, but again, like I said, you end up with an, uh, an ugly joint. And that's pretty much all there is to acrylic welding. Uh, use a high grade acrylic, uh, don't use uh, any of the other polycarbonates. Uh, it will work on other polycarbonates, uh, but I find it's not as nice. So yeah, this is uh, not the highest grade you can get. You can get cast acrylic, and that is uh, harder and also welds much better, uh, but it's also a lot more expensive. And whenever I do a welding, uh, if, uh, like you can see all these pieces here, I try to assembly line it because once you're all set up, uh, you want to go through as much of it as you can as possible. Uh, the reason is, uh, the methane chloride is, uh, corrosive to the rubber stopper. And if I leave it in there too long, uh, it will start to deteriorate and fall apart. So I want to, uh, get as much done as quickly as possible, uh, then empty out the syringe. And you saw at the beginning there, I was, um, pulling the cork out. Uh, I don't, like I said, I let it evaporate really quickly and I don't uh, leave it in contact with it uh, for too long. Now, so this is the absolute close-up <laughs> I can get. A little bit blurry, but uh, you can see as the methylene chloride hits the joint, it wicks right into it and that's what you want. You want it to go smoothly from one end to the other and that's it. That's, that's acrylic welding. And what I'm going to do, you can see at the top and the, on the right and left, there is a bit of a deflection. But once I, uh, in the last shot here, I'm going to turn those on their edge and I can straighten those out and weld them in place as well. So there you go. I hope that answers your questions. Uh, leave comments, people, if, you, if I have missed something. And I'll try and get them in another video. I think this is probably the last time I do a, a standalone for this, uh, but I will be doing lots of acrylic welding. It's a very easy process, and I find it extremely useful. Uh, it makes, uh, well, I mean, 
how many other materials can you join together this quickly and this easily? And I find also the containers are really quite useful. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video and bye for now.